Welcome back to our channel. Today, we embark on an incredible journey as we delve into the captivating story of Atlantis of the Sands, a lost city hidden beneath the Arabian desert. Join us as we explore the historical accounts, archaeological discoveries, and ancient legends that have fascinated scholars and adventurers for decades. Part 1, The Legend of Iram and the Ad In the fall of 1930, the renowned British explorer Bertram Thomas set out on a perilous expedition to cross the daunting Rub al Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter. Little did he know that his journey would lead him to encounter the fascinating story of an ancient lost city buried beneath the sand. Thomas documented the tale in his seminal book, Arabia Felix, which caused a stir among European audiences. Part 2 Lawrence of Arabia and the Search for Atlantis of the Sands. T. E. Lawrence, famously known as Lawrence of Arabia, became enamored with the legend of the lost desert city. He believed that the ruins of a great Arab civilization could be found in the depths of the Arabian desert. Tragically, Lawrence never got the chance to embark on his search, as he passed away in a motorcycle accident in 1935. However, he left behind the nickname Atlantis of the Sands for the elusive city. Part 3 the remarkable discovery of Ebla. In the 1960s, archaeologist Paolo Mathi and his team stumbled upon the ancient city of Ebla in northern Syria. Among the discoveries were clay tablets containing detailed records of Ebla's neighbors and trading partners, including references to the legendary city of Iram. This groundbreaking find provided tangible evidence that Iram did exist and was a significant center of trade in ancient times. Part 4 the revelation of Shizer and the lost city of Iram. Inspired by Bertram Thomas's accounts, Nicholas Clapp embarked on his own quest to find the lost city of Iram. Utilizing satellite radar imagery, Clapp discovered an extensive network of ancient trade routes converging at the Shizer oasis in Oman. Excavations led by Clapp and archaeologist Juris Zurins unveiled the remains of a 5,000-year-old settlement, with an imposing fortress at its center. Clapp believed he had finally found Atlantis of the Sands. Part 5 Hospitals and Ancient Stone Circles In recent years, archaeological mysteries have emerged across the Arabian Peninsula. David Kennedy's exploration of stone structures known as mustatals has revealed over 1,000 massive rectangular structures, older than Stonehenge. These ancient stone circles, along with other enigmatic finds like the giant stone circle in the Golan Heights, suggest a complex and advanced civilization once thrived in the region. Part 6. The Connection to Ancient Giants and Jinn Drawing upon is the Quran and the Book of Enoch, some researchers propose a connection between the Ad of Iram, the Nephilim, and the Jinn. Legends of these ancient giants intertwine with the mysteries of the lost city, the construction of monumental structures, and the tales of powerful ancient beings. Could these ancient giants be responsible for the remarkable feats witnessed across the Arabian Peninsula? Conclusion As we conclude our exploration of Atlantis of the Sands, we are left with more questions than answers. The Arabian Peninsula continues to reveal its hidden secrets, challenging our understanding of ancient civilizations and their monumental achievements. The quest to uncover the truth behind the lost city of Iram remains an ongoing adventure, captivating the imaginations of scholars, explorers, and enthusiasts alike. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey through history and mythology. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, happy exploring!